9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. Hi, guys. Welcome to another stream. Yes, it is the countdown challenge. We continue with the countdown challenge. We're going to Sampdoria. Of all things, we're going to be doing a 442. But before that, some very good news for all Liverpool fans. Apparently, we may have, isn't confirmed yet, Luis Diaz, a player I rate very, very highly. He's one of the most exciting wingers in Europe at the moment. Um, they call him the next Cristiano Ronaldo from Portugal. And yes, L Luis Diaz could be heading to Liverpool. We have hijacked the move from Spurs because Liverpool have been tracking this player for close to a season and a half. They were looking at they were looking at making a deal in the summer, but because Tottenham showed interest and his agent decided to delay it because the Luis Diaz actually prefers to go to Liverpool to play. And if that if the if everything falls into place. We could find ourselves with a replacement for Sadio Mane, which is really important because Sadio Mane is what? He's a... Luis Diaz is what? 24, I think, if I'm not mistaken. He's not that... He's not very old. Um, yeah, let's just check here. Let me check. Luis Diaz. Do I have his age? No, I don't have his age. Yeah, but definitely, yeah, it's a great signing. It's potentially a very good signing. But speaking of signings, right? I know he's not in the Premier League. He is a former Liverpool player. But he's heading to West Brom. Andy Carroll could be putting on a West Brom jersey as well. He's had a good season at Reading. And uh, the tall giant, I'm I'm actually very happy if he if he reignites his career. He's doing well at Reading. He was doing well at Reading. So he's doing a medical um, at West Brom and he could be making a move there. Where club is Diaz from? I, I'm not sure, but let me check. Okay. I think he's in, he's from Portugal. Um, I think it's Porto. Porto. Yeah, Porto. He's from Porto. Yeah. And they are, but here we go, right? Spurs were hopeful of signing Diaz because they missed on their first target, Adam Arturore, who could be heading to Barcelona. So could Pierre on Emmerich Obama Young. So the Barcelona could have both of them on the flanks. Uh, and Speaking of flank players, PSG are pretty confident that Kylian Mbappe is not going to be around for much longer, right? They don't expect him to continue past the summer. And guess who they might read? They've identified Marcus Rashford from Manchester United. So while Manchester United seem to be offloading their players, they could be hit by clubs wanting to poach their players too because um, uh, Marcus Rashford is definitely another versatile winger but the question is whether or not he's going to leave Manchester he's a he's he's got a lot of things going on in UK so I'm not sure if he's gonna he's oh yeah he's Colombian correct he's not he's not Portuguese he's Colombian all right so I'm not sure if Marcus Rashford is gonna stay in England it has a I I don't know whether it's likely to happen but PSG will definitely be looking for a replacement for Kylian Mbappe it makes very a lot of sense that you know, they line up um, Marcus Rashford. And speaking of replacements, Erling Holland could be leaving, right? I mean, that's the talk. So who do you think they're going to be looking at? Apparently, they Everton are going to be... Everton might lose out on uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, which puts them in a really bad position. Because if Dominic Calvert-Lewin does leave Everton, who do they have up front then? So there's going to be a lot of a lot of issues with um, with Ever for Everton if they lose because Newcastle are in the market as well. They're looking at signing players, um, but every time they go in to make an offer, the richest club in England <laughs> gets slapped with like a sixty million fee. And then uh, we've got another one as well. Um, I've heard reports that um, Matty Cash could be on his way out as well. I I'm not surprised if Matty Cash leaves Aston Villa. Because you have to look at his career trajectory, it's really taken off, right? 
And uh, he's had a very good season with Aston Villa. And I don't see him staying in Aston Villa. So Steven Gerrard could have some issues, right? So they, they are the target is as well a target some for another club, man. I agree. I think Rashford needs to leave England. He needs to leave United. And there could be a... I, I, there's a part of me that thinks that Rashford might leave because this project to rebuild... I mean, United have been rebuilding or trying to find their identity since Alex Ferguson left the club. How long more is Rashford going to be waiting in the wings, right? So, and, and it depends on the managers. If somebody really wants Rashford, I, I know Pochettino is a great admirer of Rashford. So, there could be reasons for him to leave. Yeah. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. Yeah, Matty Cash is I actually like Matty Cash as a wing back. He's a very, very good wing back. It was easily one of the best players when he was playing at I think he was playing at Forest, right? He was from Forest. And then after that he moved on to he moved on to the Premier League and now interest there are interested parties, man, for him. Let's see what else I've got. Okay. Um, oh yeah, let's see. I know Wenderbeek might be going off on loan, but that's about it, man. Um, Arsenal and Manchester United both are looking at Ruben Neves as well. So Wolves have set an asking price for Ruben Neves. I mean, Ruben Neves, maybe. But the the signing that looks um, the signing that really looks like it's going to be set in stone is Luis Diaz. Then we've got Matt Turner, right? The um, American keeper is coming as well. Uh, Joe Gomez, they won't let him. I mean, he might be wasted, but you have to remember the one of the reasons why Manchester City are ve a very strong squad is because they've got a lot of depth in their team. So, if you look at their bench, their bench is just as good. You, any player from the bench can step up to the main team. And if you want to, you want to compete with the best in the land, you know, sometimes you're gonna have to um, players as well. You, if you look at you look at the situation, yeah, you want to play first team football. Like Dominic Calvert Lewin needs to leave Everton 100%. So I, I'm expecting him to go, right? So he can play regular Champions League. But where does Joe Gomez go? I mean, Joe Gomez is a very good player, but Liverpool are not gonna let him go cheap. So who is gonna come out and fork up? I would say Joe Gomez's asking price is gonna be in the region of 80 million to 90 million. Not a lot of clubs in this pandemic hit uh, times can go for that. Plus, Joe Gomez gets a chance to play, step in. I mean, competition is good. It raises your game. And if the club is in the Champions League, why not? I mean, for Nat Phillips, it makes sense to leave. I mean, Liverpool have put a £12.5 million um, fee for Nat Phillips. Nat Phillips has to go. That I agree, but not for Joe Gomez, man. If Liverpool lose Joe Gomez, which they, I don't think they're going to let that happen, the, who's their next replacement? Right, so that Liverpool have learned their lesson already. We have got Konate, true. But you got to think of the future as well because Joe Gomez is relatively young. Then you've got um, Van Dijk. Van Dijk is a bit older. And the way Liverpool play, they play with a very high line. They're one of the very few teams right now that still play with the offside trap. So they play a very, very high line with a high offside trap. So players tend to get injured and they... And they, and they get tired. So yeah, giving, having cover is a good idea, man. Oh, Dusan Vlahovic. Yes, he's gone to UV, man. That's a big, big, big signing for them. So I'm very, very nice. It's very nice to see Dusan Vlahovic go there. Van Dijk. Most defenders reach their peak at about, what, 30, 31. That's their 28 to 31 is their peak. Right. Most outfield players are like that. Goalkeepers actually reach their peak at about 30, 32, 33, 34. They're, those are the ages where goalkeepers reach their peak. Um, wingers and the lot, usually about 26 to between 28 to 32, they hit their peak as well. So a lot of the players in Liverpool squad are at their peak. And that means that we've got maybe about two seasons before we look at the... We've got another one or two seasons before we need active rejuvenation. So whoever comes into the club right now has to be about at, the, at, the, at that age, like 24, 25, playing regularly. Like Luis Diaz. Liverpool had a few options for the winger position. But Luis Diaz is the one that stands out because his form is not streaky. Okay, granted, he's playing in, um, he's playing in the uh, Portuguese league where the quality may... 
be a bit suspect, right? There's a gulf between the top few sides and the bottom few sides. There's a huge gulf on it. So, yeah, we'll see how he does. Bagaskara, I want to thank you for your last session of BYT. Now my tactic is a lot more stable. Oh, speaking of which, right? Speaking of which, let me check something. I think somebody from Discord said the uh, tactic was missed out. Yeah, I'm going to have to see whether he managed to get that. I, I requested that he bring the tactic back in. Let me have a look. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to download this tactic. Have a quick look at it. Because I remember looking at this tactic. Okay, let me just uh, load the tactic. Um, yeah, we'll, we won't be doing BYT today. Speaking of which, we are also doing... Um, we are also doing um, draft mode later. <laughs> For those who want to do draft mode. Yes, we're doing draft mode today. Okay. All right. So let's get cracking with our safe man, Sampdoria. Okay. Um, whoops. Okay, here we are. We already played our first. We, we've drawn one and we lost one. We, our goal here with this countdown challenge is straightforward. We are playing a 4-4-2. But this is, uh, this is the tactic that was... I didn't... Apparently, I didn't do this tactic, but I could have sworn I did it. Um, actually, when I'm looking at this tactic, there's nothing wrong with this tactic. Okay, you have a player here that's going to hold up the ball. He does move into channels, so he's going to drift left and right. He might get in the way of the inside forward attacking. So what do you really want to do? And you hold shape. So this is a tactic that basically wants to work itself into goal scoring positions, right? And I think on the whole, it is a relatively solid tactic. You got a roaming playmaker, you got a Mazzala here. In tougher games, turn this into a defensive midfielder. In some games, you can even tougher games, you can turn this guy into a defensive midfielder. In some games, I would do this. Mazzala on attack. So what will happen is um, if you have a really strong defensive midfielder, this Mazar attack will attack this half space. The inverter winger and him will become a very good uh, attacking pair. This role can actually drive through the middle here and lend support in this position, right? And then you've got uh, a lot of um, options. Um, but when you play with an inverter wing back, I'm not a big fan of the inverter wing back, inverter winger combination. I would just go winger. Because you're not going to get a lot of width on this flank, right? You're going to get these two switching a lot, which is good. I mean, not a lot. They, he will sometimes end up in this position to cross the ball. The winger will support him. So if he can't cross the ball, the winger is going to be able to cross the ball. The inverter wing back comes into this position. Now, there's one more thing you can do. Against a really defensive team, hit the underlap. This underlap will be very useful because it will drive him even higher up the pitch. This player will be somewhere to close to support him. The DM then, I mean, if you're playing against a weak team, right? Okay, you can play with a DM on defense or anchorman. Even you can even turn this into anchorman. So what will happen is this inverter wing back will be played on attack duty. He drives up the pitch. It's 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 one of those uh, setups where you are actually attacking a team very aggressively, but you're doing it with a very right-sided heavy overload creating drawing a lot of players to this side of the pitch and this inside forward attacks the space when you do that this dlf on attack because he holds up the ball he's going to do a lot of interchange of passes so you need a lot of players with good composure um balance agility these roles here balance agility balance agility here composure 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 is very important speaking of which joey made an appearance on today's uh show not this show but the other the other channel we got uh we're talking about attributes with gear again pressing systems yes hope you guys watched that video my my kids made a my kids just wanted to be on it right? because i was doing the work so they kept insisting daddy i want to they, so my son was going around the house to be like a reporter the older one so he's doing his own this is Gyandev reporting to you live from... So he's doing the, you know, he's like reporting and all that stuff. So he's like, and thanks for watching today's show. <laughs> and, he's, and he wants to watch me edit these shows. And so he insisted on wanting to do it. So I said, okay, fine. That sounds like fun. Yeah. So, yeah. I can't... So, you know, don't use an inverter wing back with the inverter wing up. No. 
you're gonna have issues because there's too much you'll have a, there'll be a lot of times where the inverted wing and the inverted wing are going to be next to each other and that's going to be a problem for your tactic you can ask the inverted winger to stay wider you can you can definitely try that out or you may even have to play wider right but i would start with a if you you can try it out i mean you never know right uh, it could be trade dependent or play dependent but i would recommend if you try out with the inverted winger see what happens yeah uh, if you need to make a change make the change this role can easily there's so many options to this position against weaker teams you can go full even you, you can even go full back on attack mess right goes you say winger stays here dm helps you protect ball playing defender worst case scenario he turns to a cover duty that's it sweeper keeper on defense i'm sorry now i don't really I, I dislike the sweeper keeper in a lot of my tactics i've gone back to the goalkeeper man that i mean of course these sweeper keepers are quite fun wait ah i did this tactic okay wait wait, wait. this is uh for later Hi, right, it's still here okay okay Front center. All right, so we clear this slot. All right, let's go for my. So this is the tactic we're gonna be using at A442. Hey, Lauti Likari, how are you doing from Argentina, man? Ooh, I love the fact that you're from Argentina. Thank you, man, for coming in to watch the show. All right, we're gonna, okay, I'm gonna do something, right? So I wanna, uh, I wanna make things a bit simpler for myself, right? Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna have a certain set of PIs. I mean, I know I did all this, but I wanna, um, you know. Okay, these are my root. I'm gonna call these my root PIs. I'll explain it when I play the game later. The transfer deadline for Italiano clubs is 23 hours tonight. So are we signing anybody? Oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> are we supposed to sign someone? <laughs> Oh no, I've forgotten what I'm supposed to do. This is terrible. Wait, did I did I not say that we have a striker problem on the last stream? Quagli, yeah, I did, no? Wait, did I? Did, okay, let's let's look at the situation. Transfers in. This will tell us. We got Lin coming. We got Edgar, the defender. Caputo joins, but that's that's a long-term transfer, right? Transfer history. Who did I sign? Uh, I signed the target man. I signed the winger on loan. This is a ex damn expensive loan. Boy. Zen, why did I? I'm a real nutter, you know. Why did I pay so much for a loan? Okay, squad. Okay, let's the the video has my Gagan DNA, right? I can't really you can't really do Gagan with a 442. It's just sideways slap. But this actually tells me what kind of mentals my boys have. So it's going to be enough for me to get a snapshot of who are the weak players in my team. Here, concentration is 11. That's not good for a central defender. Okay, let's go into the tactic. Hmm, let's quick pick because I see Quagliera in the middle. Uh, let's... Uh, okay, one thing I like to do, I always set up my training and I always set up my squad three days before the main game. We're not going to do any mentoring. Let's go to rest. This should be double intensity. Okay. Coaches have been done. Okay. This guy is heavy, heavy. That's because, you know. This, okay. In case you guys are wondering, this first team coaches also, okay. Basically, these guys also work with your youth team. So don't worry about coaches. I mean, basically, all your training facilities here. Um, your youth players are going to use these coaches and these training facilities. Okay. So... The coaches are for their develop, uh, for their initial new gen generation. Uh, let's not let's not dwell on this too much. Uh, okay, yeah, because I don't want to click too many. But I want to know. Shit, I forgot whether I was supposed to sign a striker. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to sign somebody and I can't use him. That's the other problem. I mean, it's nice to play in um, countries where you can register ninety nine players. Yeah, you gotta register maximum squad size of 25. Um let's see who we let's check out our whole team, okay? See what room we have. I mean it says here three, but you have to look at all this as well. Um Niclo, who the heck are you, man? 
Goalkeeper, I don't need you. You can take the first slow boat to China. Okay, speaking of which, let's make sure we have enough keepers before I send all my keepers to China. Okay, we got enough keepers. All right. Yeah. Okay, we got Niklo Muru. Uh, Valle, Valle, Valerio Veri. Hmm. Nah, he won't fit in our 442, right? So, transfer status, transfer list, this guy. There's no point keeping him available for loan. So if any club wants to come in for an offer, we'll accept it. Um, 5 million. Okay. I'll give you a discount, man. Yeah, he's way above for you. Yeah, you're right. Because you are basically quite, quite, quite terrible. Okay, so we'll just go 4.2 million. All right. Okay. Now, we what else have we got? Radu Dragos. Dra Radu, I promoted him from the youth team. He's a defender. He's not bad, but not good enough for the first team. Unavailable. Let's look at all the unavailable. Okay, Damsgaard is going to be registered. Bosby is here. Who's this? Christopher Ex Accident. <laughs> the accident waiting to happen. Okay, look. The accident is an under-22 player. That's good. Okay. Oh. Apparently, I've got a, a slight problem. A minimum of four players trained by Sampdoria for three years. So, I can't really sign anybody now. Is there a way to see homegrown at club? Let's look at the all the players. So, these are all the homegrown at club players. If I add three players, it'll take me to 25 anyway. So, there's no point adding. There's nobody in the... There's nobody in this team that is... Yeah, there's no point. I mean, what's the point looking at under-22s? Unless it's an under-20 player that's good enough. You only got this guy. He's already registered. And he's just terrible. Um, these are all the... Homegrown and club. He's registered. Ferrari is not homegrown at club. No, he's not. Train in nation, 15 to anyone. Okay. So this is one of those reasons why you have to plan for the future when you start a save. Yeah, you always have these issues. So we're not... Okay, who do I sacrifice? If I take him out, I have to take one senior player out. Okay. See, this is the reason why Quagli is holding up the space. But... I don't want to let Guagliera go. I mean, the story, his story is very, it's a tough story to hear, right? When he was, he's a Napoli boy through and through. You know? Okay, He was so excited to play for Napoli, but when he, during his time at Napoli, because he went with Udinese, he went to Napoli, he was so happy to play at Napoli. But when he got to Napoli, right, he was, he was stalked by a postal policeman who, basically gave him a hellish nightmare by doing all kinds of nonsense to his life. So he went through a really terrible spell and then he ended up at Juve. Nobody really knew because he had to keep it a secret. Until, I think it was about 2013 or something like that where um, the story came out. And then, um, so he, he tried to reignite his career after that. So you can see, right? Look at, he's capable. He he's at Sampdoria. So, no, we're going to leave him. I'm going to play him, man. We're going to find a way to make Quagliera work. Now we, now this has become an emotional save. <laughs> now we're not letting Quagliera. We got, I'm going to do this countdown challenge with Quagliera inside there. Okay? We're not going to do it the same old way. We're going to try our best. I know, but we can't just sign. I can't. I I just can't sign. I just can't sign players now, right? Because if I sign another player, I have to sacrifice one player in the registration phase itself. The problem is, who do I read? Who do I sacrifice? So you can see this, right? You can only sacrifice one player because the the club doesn't have enough players who are homegrown at the club. When you take over for the first time, when you take over for the first time, there aren't a lot. Right. So you're going to have that issue. So players like Radu, Dragasin are homegrown at Nation. Right? They still need a few more years before they become homegrown at club. So you got to build the club first and then you can have that option. I mean, I could easily go out there and sign like two or three strikers, let Fabio, Fabio Quagliera go. But why? I mean, 
This is when I become emotional. <laughs> I don't want to do that to that man. I mean, if you... Yeah, man. If, if, if Al Duhal won him on a free, on a transfer and he wants to leave, let's see what, what was his uh, information. Does he want to stay? Does he want to go? Uh, wants to win a trophy inside his team's chances in Italian Cup. Doesn't want to see Albin Akidal leave the club. Yeah. Unhappy with the low level of general team training. Yeah, I know. Your problem is the quality of the coaches, son. There's nothing I can do about the quality. The quality is shite. Yeah, we got no room for more coaches. I can't really go out there and start firing coaches right now. The club doesn't have a lot of money. So if I do that, this, this room is going to disappear. Okay, let's see what we can do. Maybe sign one striker... Let's make a plan. We have to do we have to have a plan here. Alright. Okay, what if Cogliera wants to go and he has decided to go, then you know there is no point, right? Okay. Who can I sacrifice? Manolo Gabbiadini is okay, but there's a big but here. Also, another one of those great legends. Okay, but he doesn't have to work great for a lot of my systems injured coming back in two weeks time ferrari or galio we need we need all these players okay all right let's look at the defenders so this is we have to be i have to be very careful okay i don't want to lose an important player fabio de Pauli is playing edgar is coming to the glow from real place joining okay fine well my agility and balance so poor Ooh, these players, they're just so-so, man. Niklo Muru, another player. So-so. 12 composure, 12 concentration, man. He's going to lose the ball as well. This team has got poor concentration levels and poor composure. They cannot handle pressure. You put them under pressure, they'll lose the ball. Caputo, no. Caputo's on loan, right? Caputo comes in on a loan at the end of the season. I can't let him go. Caputo is 34 years old. I mean, another. I don't know what is with Sampdoria and wanting to sign everybody who wants to, you know, retire. They are like the retirement club of the Serie A, man. Okay. Can I use Tora Gesa? Not really. I mean, he's like... Oh... Uh, off the ball, 13 work rate. He's just average. This guy is... Like, no, He's not going to be aware of a counter-attack. <laughs> His concentration levels are so low. Okay. He's homegrown at Nation. If we got in more than enough homegrown at Nation players, we can afford to let three of them go. Okay. So, Tora Gesa is one. Quagliera, if he wants to go. Okay. They are rumoured to be interested. It's gonna be painful. It's gonna be painful, man. This one of those countdown challenges where you want to but you can't. Yeah. Okay. Transfer status. Most of the clubs have concluded their transfer business. Okay, look. Scouting. Player search. Shortlist. I bet you, right? The last thing we were looking at was strikers. Yeah. JSA, 585. 2.5 million. That's the, one, the only striker I can get. Oh, not good enough as well. Okay. Work rate, finishing, composure, agility, balance, concentration, acceleration. What do can we get? Angel. My first pick. All right, okay. It's nine for strength, but 34 years. I'm signing retiring players as well. Oh, that's not good, man. Striker, 20 years old. Hmm. 
acceleration of the ball okay likes a bit of side trap you might be okay all right trans ask agent about availability 900 okay that's it doesn't have fantastic anticipation is a bit low it's a c minus that we scouted okay All right, let's go and see all the players that we scouted. Pick, acceleration, anticipation, concentration, off the ball, finishing, composure, agility, balance. Okay, let's just drop everything to 13. This is the baseline. Okay, let me see what, who drops in the baseline for 1 million. Not for sale. 800, 800 North. Yeah. No way Lapadula is coming for that. There is no way on God's green earth Lapadula is going to be that cheap. And okay, now we drop the concentration. We need the off the ball. We drop the composure. And we leave the agility. Okay. 21 years old. Raspadori. No way, man. 6.2. 5 to. Hey, who's this, man? Jefferson Bouquet. 34 year, 34 year old Colombian. No, he will. He's the non-EU slot. Habib Diallo. Oh, this is this is desperation times, man. Okay, borderline. Now we go to borderline. Okay, we go to the edge. Let's see what we got. Mavi DD is good. Okay, now we take the value. Uh, add condition, transfer value is at most, yeah, 1.5 1, 1. million. Nicolo Ibanez. On loan. Hmm. Not that fantastic. Oh boy. I want Gabriel Dini to I want Gabriel Dini to work, man. D I N E N N What the hell do you spell that name? D I N E and N O. Nope. Don't see him. They get the strikers give one million. Anything for more than one million is not gonna work. Ecolo. Ecoli, let me see. Roberto Piccoli. 11 off the ball work rate not very fast yeah we could actually make an offer to loan we gotta pay how much pay a potential oh. this won't work man okay the total cost of the loan is to suggest this no nope. they want to Low contribution of a hundred thousand. Um, and a monthly fee. We also like to include a clause scheme somewhere option to buy the player for eight million at the end of the year. No. No, 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 no. They won't work because the finances don't allow for that. Okay, Caputo got no choice. You got to keep him. Right, okay. So if I play, I got Caputo up top with Dojovic. Calgulera. We got no choice. You got to make do with this team. That's it, okay. They no money. We got no money, okay. Let's not go signing players. We take part and see what happens. If, if somebody falls through the cracks, yeah, why not? Okay, life transfers, 200 done deals. Anybody coming through that looks like a striker, we get excited. Fabio, rumor, okay. Max. Wait, uh, super moting, right? Transfer, make an offer, loan. 
there. I don't mind this guy. Okay. Customs. Accept demands. Chupa moting, I don't mind. Okay, we go for chupa moting. Alright. This guy is cheap. It's a, it's a, he's okay, right? He's alright. You know, he's got jumping reach. He's got, he's not got, he doesn't have excellent work rate, but okay, he can fit into the team. Other than that, we got Lucas, but who's this? Okay, 30 old contractor to Udinese. Nah, I don't like his. Roberto Piccoli, here. Okay, we've got another one, right? Transfer. Ask agent about availability. 4.1 to 5. Okay, if the value is 4.1 to 6.2, they're asking for 8 million. That's a bloody joke. Man. Okay, all right. We'll go for another loan. Let's see what happens. I mean, it doesn't matter if we have a lot of loan players, right? So it's okay. Just like, you know, optional future fee or 6.25 because his value is that why is 6.2 you want me to pay so much plus i'm giving you extra money okay 100 100 percent eight million don't be a joke man I can't afford this man. finances look at that computer spending look at this right now we're in trouble okay, if i make a budget adjustment yeah, I got to move and I will not have money left, right? So we go 30, 36. That's it, man. How much do we have? 36, 429. It's not going to work, man. No, like we... 36, 429. That's one of the reasons why we can't sign. The... Okay, we, we got Chupo Moting. That's it. Okay, I Screw it. Let's see what whether Chupo Moting in dreams to come. Decline. Krasnoda make very offer. Okay, now we got extra money. Selling team contribution. I take anything, man, right now. Nobody wants to take him. Okay, okay, any, anything. Just get him off my hands. That's it. It just reduces the wage budget just by a bit. Well, swap deals not easy to happen, man. No, not easy. Okay. Alright. I like, I like, actually enjoy this. Uh, I actually enjoy this uh, transfer deadline day. Experience, no? Attracting interest. Francesco Caputo is it? Fabio Coglera is not a, a club's interested only in one. Abidel, Albin, Ekdal, there are a few, right? Okay, transfer. Okay, let's see whether if he goes, right? Uh, Morton Tosby, no. Four clubs interested. Valero, Valeri, okay. Okay, Serie registration window. Why do I have to register anybody? Shut up. I find that very annoying. I have never liked the register. Why don't you just ask me to register at the end of the window? Mido offer. Did I see a Mido offer? Mido is not bad. Anyway, his concentration is a bit low, right? In real life, right? A few clubs are interested in him. Where wants to see what more my uh, no no okay this who's this guy Darwin Matisse ah forget it Jonas Omlin Montpellier 13 14 no we don't want to keep her we just signed the great Xander Club <laughs> I'm almost gonna choke on my own laughter <laughs> the great Xander Club man, we didn't have any options man <laughs> great Xander Club ass uh, yes. Alfred Duncan is a damn... It's worth signing, no? If you ever pick a save up, right? Go and sign this guy. Alfred Duncan is worth it. Worth it. No? For the value you get for this guy. He's another one of those defenders, uh, midfielders I like in the game. Right? I'll pick him in a heartbeat. Right? Because he can do a lot of jobs for you in the heart of midfield. And for 6 million, it's a steal. He's like one of those Danilo Catali level players for me. Except he doesn't do set pieces as well. Right? So he set pieces like free kick, taking, not there. Okay, let's assume, right, that we have, okay, no, we can't go, let's uh, decline. Okay. Agent offer summary, Joel, no, no, no. Transfer value, no, we can't sign any more players, we got room for one player only. Respond. Okay, it's quite finalized. Um, yeah, there's still time for things to happen. Seven hours remaining, guys. Roberto Insignia, wow. I wish we could have, we could have respond. 
Yeah, yeah. Nick Relic could be leaving with the organization anyone that's interested in some discussions. If it's sufficient, we'll, then perhaps we'll talk about it. Let's just show the market that we're interested in. Yeah. I find this the can you register your squad is the one of the most annoying thing in the game. Agent of I've been contacted by recently by agents. Okay, so this is Nicholas Stark. Man, with a name like that, who doesn't want you? Okay, can you fit into my team, my style of play? No. Concentration levels. I do not want to add another player with low concentration to my team. We are playing a 4-4-2. Already difficult enough. We're just making, we're just shooting ourselves in the foot. Okay. Like so he desperately wants to do this. What happens there? As long as he, he needs to act. What? Unlikely to get the most so he so desperately wants to do this. What happens there? As long as he remembers he needs to come into the car and give us everything he has. Yep, that's it. Look, people want you. They Oh my goodness, Ricardo Quaresema. That guy is damn good. I love that player. Because you can play him in so many positions. Yeah. Listed players. These are all the players that have been listed. Valero, well, there's a bid for him. Um, Taragosa, there is a... He's been listed, but no one is interested in him. We listed these players. Nick Prelek also. And yeah, nobody's interested in him. Okay. Transfer status. Well, transfer listed. See what happens, right? He's wanted, listed, loan. Okay, done. Two hours remaining. There's no I mean, in this world, right? There's can you imagine if somebody comes to you right now? There's no time for a medical. What you the doctor is with him talking to him like the, the, it just okay, doc, give him a medical right now. The only happens in football manager. Hey, I told you, it only happens in football manager. Literally, we went there to see Nick Pralek with a doctor, the whole medical team, the test kit, all everything. Well, let him go. Okay, fine. The doctor comes in. They, they they made an offer. Okay, here you go, man. Medical checkup. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're gonna remove this. Uh, percentage on next sale. I just want twenty percent. Uh, no percentage on next sale. I just want fifteen percent after international appearances. Uh, okay, fine. You know, it's just one game. Thirty-eight point five after league appearances. We we'll give you a bit more. Okay, forty. I mean, Vegas can't be choosers. He's never gonna. He's never gonna play for me. He's got a lot of potential, but he can't make the first team. That's all. Wait, let's see if he is. Wait, let's go back to our squad. Okay, better not be the one homegrown, the homegrown players that we need. Okay. Um, registration. Strikers. He's not here. Yep, he's not there. Okay, he's not one of our players. Okay. Um, home inbox, okay. Yeah, he's see his history. That's another way of telling you. See, he's been at the club one. So, he's how old is he? He's 20 years old. One, so he's 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. So, this guy could potentially be homegrown at club next season, right? Next season, he could be homegrown at club. Am I, am I right or mistaken? I, I think I'm correct. I think you'll be homegrown club, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think Sabida should be allowed to leave the club. Yeah, okay, look, if you want him to go, you also go. Next season, can he play? No. Let's just put a percentage of next sale and let him go. Okay, done. Except. One hour remaining. Nobody signed. Prelek said to sign. Okay, gone. Okay. Sign Prelek. Can you talk about Rivers Ring? Uh, Julian Alvarez. Julian Alvarez. Striker. Jump. He's not bad. He's a good striker, but we don't have the money. I mean, I want to sign him. Transfer. Make an offer. Loan. Yeah, later on, this is first team commitments. They're not going to let him go. Yeah. They decline. Decline. I'm not talking to the fan base, man. Transfer deadline passes. Okay. I don't think we got a play in, right? Yeah. Yep. Transfers? No. 
contract rejected. Promoting didn't want to come. That's it, man. Yeah, now no point looking at players. Okay. All right, we worry about players next season. Okay, so we'll confirm the squad and off we go. All right, now we go to training. Making sure that our training is on. Okay, we got this big game coming up, right? So let's just stack in as many of the uh, <laughs> set pieces that we can. Um, attacking corners, done. Yeah, defending corners, there's doubling up, so this won't work. Okay, so what we can do is uh, do extracurricular team bonding. Let's all, uh, you know, let's all jump in the pool together. Okay, attacking, attacking, attacking. What about here? Set pieces. Uh, we got defending corners, we're done. Attacking corners, we're done. Attacking free kicks, we're done. Defending free kicks. Let's go for that one as well. Okay, let's add... Um, this is a full rest day, okay? So we give them recover. Oh, okay, this is fine. Okay, this was the first game of the season. Pen one. Top target recommendation. Sorry, man. I can't afford the player. I can't go for anybody who's expensive. Maximum. It's not like we have a lot of money. Is Arezo less than 1 million? Okay, let's go, boys. Okay. We go on holiday until the first game. We can't wait. We can't wait for the first match of the season. Potentially, players are going to get injured when we do this. So we're playing a 4-4-2. Which is crazy enough as I think with weaker teams, I play I prefer playing the 4-3-3. But here we want to do a whole countdown challenge with uh, with Sampdoria and we have decided to play the 4-4-2. And uh, uh such is life, such is life. We want to make it challenging. We don't assign all the easy, we don't have the easy route to do winning the game, right? So you want that? We still got a January transfer window. That's a beautiful thing, right? So let's see what happens. We still have a January transfer window to save our assets, collective assets. Okay. Let's see the CA of our squad compared to the rest of the league. Once again, there'll be a draft mode later, guys. Right, so it's gonna be on Twitch. Our CA is Smack 11. <laughs> All these teams have better players than us. All these teams have yeah, this team has slightly weaker players than us, and these teams we better be beating them. That's how we look, guys. That's how we look in terms of CA. All right, squad. Let's uh look at our tactic now. Let's decide who's playing the next game. All right, so we go in here. We do all this, we quick pick first, then we come in here, we take a look at the pool of players and try to understand how the Aspen has picked our players. Okay, in terms of technique, Emil Eduare, yeah, he's like the 13th positioning. Xander Club, 10th technique. Uh, positioning 12, uh, okay, in terms of uh, handling aerial reach, one on ones is only 12. Emil Eduero, one on ones is 15. I mean, this keeper is not fantastic at stopping a ball. Why didn't you stop me from... Why did I sign him? He's not a good shot stopper. So we're going to stick with... Uh, Emil, let Emil Eduardo start first. His first touch is quite bad. Um, yeah, this is... this is We're going for Xander Clark. Okay, look. If you're a non-EU player, you better play the first game. Or else you'll be... A what an idiot I was. Okay, Bravery, Fabio Capello. This is the best player that we got. Balance, concentration is okay. His anticipation, he can't, mm, won't be able to read. But what else, what else do we have on the right? We have Alex Ferrari. Alex Ferrari's mentals are better. His concentration is a bit low. That means during the turnaround, the transitional turnarounds, he's got his weaknesses as well. So both these players have the same kind of weaknesses. All right, between the two of them. So both of them, except... 
it's just it's just bravery for him composure he will lose the ball under pressure anticipation okay all right so i do not understand you okay agility and balance how do you handle faster players your balance is here where the hell is your agility why do you put agility inside here oh this agility is missing okay customize my square view where's my agility man it's missing Let's balance, let's balance, let's balance. Okay, done. And okay, done. Okay. So you got agility and balance now. All right, there we go. Okay, now I export the view back. I know I've exported this view for you guys, right? It's in the, it's in the folder. All right. Uh, again, this is again shortlisting. This diff, that's different. It's again DNA. ETN again DNA. There you go. Okay. All right. Balance agility. Thomas Aguelo again on the turn not so good. First touch is pretty solid. Composure under pressure he's not going to do well. At all. A lot of my players not good under pressure man. Technique 13 isn't too bad. Work rate. Boom, 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 boom. Work rate and stamina. Where's the stamp? Stamp, stamp. We put work rate together with stamina. Okay. Alright. Okay, not too bad. Natural fitness. This guy will need a break. This guy is not, doesn't matter. Okay. Solid man, look at the bench. The bench actually have got very solid players. Niklo Muru. 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay, Niklo Muru, you are playing as a left back. Done. You are much better. Okay, his composure is 12. First touch is 12. Balance is 12. Okay. Alright. Looking at your technicals. Okay, crossing is average. Okay, that's he's better. He's not as weak. Okay, now we look at this guy. Teamwork 10. Stamina, work rate, okay. Okay, I'm not doing again pressing, so it's fine. All right, so he can read the game. His concentration is a bit low, 12, 12. So I got to look out for the right flank. Right flank, concentration, agility, anticipation. Okay, he can't. Okay, my right flank is relatively weak. Uh, they can't read the game very well on the right. So I got to be, I always got to make sure that the right sided midfielder is actually quite good. Ronaldo Vieira has got to be the best player I have. Technique of the ball, bravery. Okay, bravery 11 isn't that bad. Okay. 12, first touch. Composure, can you handle pressure? 14. Okay, Torsby, 10, first touch, not so good. Okay, who do I put? Who do I put on the right? Accelerate, who's got better anticipation? 14, Vieira has got better anticipation. He reads the game much better. He's off the ball, he won't go running up the pitch. Torsby is better on the left if I'm pushing up. Okay, so he's going to go up. This guy's going to hang back a bit more. Okay, so what is his passing like? Passing, vision, decisions. Doesn't have a lot of flair. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. Not very good, not very good. Not very good. Okay, what about this? This guy is not too bad. Off the ball. Off the ball. Can't find him with a pass. Who's got the best off the ball in this midfield? Off the ball. Who's got the best? This guy has got 16. He's a winger. This guy's a winger. Amadou is 11. Dams guy is on the left. I need him there. Yep. That's it. Unavailable. Then these guys are unregistered. Cannot be registered. He's been listed. Now, this guy is the only other player that I have. Okay. Agility. And acceleration. Not particularly fast. Do we register him and sacrifice one of our players? If I register him, that's gonna happen. So we need to sacrifice one one place to be sacrificed. Who do we sacrifice? Who do I sacrifice? I still tempted to sacrifice him. I don't Gabbiadini is like so you got so many strikers here. You got Caputo, Quagliera, Gabardini, and Ernesto Tar Toragosa. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll just go with this. There must be at least four players trained at the club. Okay. Caputo? Okay, done.
Let's see who's not been registered. <coughs> Jenny Chabo is here. Motor is here. Okay. Bartos will need you to get fit quick. Xander is here. Derechev is there. Up there is there. Okay. Alright, let's go. We're almost there. Almost there, man. Braz Brzezinski is my best right back. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. But he's, he's coming off an injury, right? So I don't want to take a chance with him. So this is going to be crazy, man. First game. First time. We are doing a... We, it's been a long time since I've done a 4-4-2 stream. Very long time. Like pure 4-4-2, right? This is... I, I can't wait. It's been a hell of a... I've been doing it with sub Doria, though. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, babies. Oh man, we do decide any. We don't have a lot of good strikers. We've got Tage man, and then we've got Caputo, Gabadini, Quagliera in front. I don't believe it. What does he want? I wanting the wanting a new contract. Quagi, go and talk to him. You know, old man of the club. Talk some sense into him. Okay, doesn't want to. Okay, shut up. You know, get ignore him. Okay, if you are if you got a squad and happy players, right? I'm gonna do a video on this soon. The first thing you wanna do, <laughs> all right? When you start, say if you if you don't like all these unhappy unhappy players coming to you and going like, hey, I'm on a player, that kind of shit, right? Okay, yeah, you, you you feel like oh my goodness, you know my players are un unhappy. What do I do? Okay, first thing you do, go next time you start to say, make sure discipline attribute for your yourself as a coach. As a manager, is high, minimum eighteen to twenty. Okay, make sure the discipline attribute is high. Because sometimes your because your discipline attribute is low. Like sometimes you take it at fifteen, oh, you got problems. My discipline attribute is fifteen, so I get a few of those complaining guys whinging at me, but I don't usually care. All right, okay, next match only. Mm -hmm. All righty, let's go into the team selection. Who who is playing? Okay, we got Ronaldo Vieira, not so 100%. Okay, we want to remove all the unavailable players. We're going to get our asses handed to us on a plate. That's for sure. We got <laughs> we got this guy. Uh, he's hard. Okay, Brzezinski can't play. Okay, he's, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to get injured. So let's not do this. This guy is just a waste of space. Okay. Who's this? He had a 10. I don't like him. Okay, we got a few. We got a few. One, two, three. Four, five, lo five loan signings. Okay, Damsgaard, Tosby, Ronaldo Vieira, Candreva, Quagliera, and Caputo. Okay, wait. okay, okay. We start with Caputo and this guy. Okay, let's uh, bring Quagliera for the last fifteen minutes. Okay, give him, give the fans something to cheer. Edgar, what are you? He's jumping, reach, agility. He's not good on the turn, man. This guy, passing, vision, decisions. Concentration, agility, balance, composure. Okay, look, if I play him in midfield, there's an option of playing him as a central midfielder. There's an option of playing him as a central midfielder. Edgar can actually be pushed up. He won't be fantastic. We do okay. Right? We do okay. Natural fitness is going to have recovery problems between games. Ah, right only. That's it. Decided you're not playing up top. Okay. Whenever I see a right only player, I never play him in central midfield. Okay, this guy agility balance can improve, composure can improve. Okay, right. This guy's training, right? We're gonna be very careful of his training. Okay. He needs uh agility, balance, decisions, determination, concentration is there, off the ball. Concentration is gonna work with the uh, our training, also improves concentration. That's not too bad. Okay, accident. I'm gonna call you accident. Okay, you are actually potentially our deep line playmaker. Okay, so he is gonna come for come on for a lot of games. All right, so we got Ronaldo Vieira in the center. He's got flair of ten, agility, balance, passing, vision, decisions. But he only plays short, simple passes. Ay 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 ay. Tosby, passing, vision, decisions, some flair. Also play short, simple passes. Man, our 442 is, is in trouble, man. Okay, we are playing against this team. Let's try to do a different way of doing OIs. 
Okay. All right. Normally, I there's one which I do like this, right? Which is angle. This is what I call my angle wise. Okay. Now I'm gonna do something different for this for this stream. Normally, I don't do this on stream. I do this on my own. I keep the secret to myself. Composure twelve. Concentration eleven. Finger press. Johan, I, I don't want to pick too many players. I just want to pick one or two players. The moment they game make a mistake, we're going to pounce on them. Okay. All right. We're going to pounce on this guy straight away. Okay. Next trigger press. Bernani, Bravery 11. Termination 11. Bravery 11 isn't that bad. Agility and balance. Hmm. Okay. We'll tackle you hard. This guy is... Agility, balance, guy. his anticipation is good. His jumping reach is not so bad. We're not going to trigger anything on you. And we're going to let you play your game. You. Determination. Once we, you can see the goal, you're going to uh, start crying. Okay, so we'll leave you alone. So this, their defenders are quite good. Look at that. Jumping reach. 12. Ah, you can't jump. Okay. You're on the right. He's on the right. That's where my target is. This guy, right? The left. My target base is on actually playing on the right. My target base is actually playing on the left. So this guy is gonna hit get hit by my target base. So if I put him on the right, this target, this guy is gonna be in trouble. So we're gonna change our tactics slightly. Alright, so we're gonna go back to our tactic. We're gonna put the target man here instead. Uh, shouldn't uh, shouldn't make this tactic too different. Target man here, wing back, he'll drop here. Comp Think it'll be fine. I don't think it'll be that much of a problem. Okay. All right. Okay. We've done that. Okay. Now let's look at the midfielders. Any any of you got bo problems turning? Oh, you got problems turning. Okay. Tight mark you. Okay. You. Composure. Echo heart. You. Holy guacamole. Koran Pandev. He's very, very, he's not very fast, right? But if he gets the ball, boost the left foot before dribble attempt. Passing vision decisions, work rate very low. Let, let him be, let him be. We don't want to deal with him. Caleb, no. Caleb, okay, look, we're going to weak foot you. Caleb, uh, right, likes to try to beat outside trap. Okay, hard tackle you. <laughs> Philip Caicedo. Oh, Jesus. This guy is... Oh, yes. Yeah, no wonder you're not for sale. Likes to round keeper, plays it back to go, plays one-twos, brings everybody into uh, into the party. Uh, and there's no point asking him to um, show weaker foot, right? So we're just going to leave him first. Maybe if I type mark him, agility and balance, he can turn my defender. He's very fast. His acceleration is 14. Okay, we're not going to type mark him. Let's hope this works, man. There's a lot of Finely set, okay. Finely set stuff inside there. Okay, now let's look at our defenders. Okay, we know what we need to do. We've got a nuisance in front of us. I'm gonna put a tree right in front of him. Okay, I'm gonna put a tree right in front of him. Okay, there's one tree now. Wait, tree come. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna put the tree there. Okay, then we got the Pauli, Chabo, Damsgaard, Tosby, Ronaldo Vieira. Okay, we need bravery because we know that we have some players that we need to hard tackle here. Technique 12. Mm, you might get a yellow card. Technique 13. Flare. Bravery 11. You might be a problem. Amadou? What do you have? Your flare is not so fantastic, but you can read the game. You're much more dangerous. Okay, we'll put you there instead. Alright. Okay, that's it. we done all the work. <laughs> Let's hope it works. Because... <laughs> What are they, man? We have no clue if this is going to work. Why do you choose a white midfielder on the right instead of a winger? I'm using a 4 4 2 and trying to get both wingers to pause. So, so, I don't know. No, no. Yeah, it, uh, sometimes I, I want a white midfielder because I want more movement. On uh, I want to basically crack, kind of like create an overload on one side of the pitch and then swing the ball to the other side. Yeah. Where the inverted winger is attacking. You can actually do it two ways as well. Like you can have the winger, but then you need two really good midfielders and you gotta keep the ball so your tempo can't be fast. Oh yeah, shish kebabs with him. Okay, here we go, guys. It's the first game of the season. Let's encourage them. Uh 
what is our what are our instructions we we haven't even checked no? okay let's just drop this a bit right, let's just okay wait, wait, wait. we don't know we haven't played with this tactic yet in a while so let's go to comprehensive let's see the transitions man Pauli Amadou, Thorsby, back to Amadou, De Pauli to Amadou, to Dorwedevic, to Thorsby, to Caputo, Thorsby to Damscott, it's Caputo! It's a great start here from Sampdoria. Within five minutes of the start of the game, they have taken Genoa apart with some crisp passing through the middle. Look at that, man. What a start! What a start from Sampdoria! Francesco Caputo! <laughs> and we, they're so stunned, the table isn't even ready yet. Okay, now let's see how they defend. Because we know we can score. We have got Caputo, we've got like some legends in front, right? But <laughs> the question is whether everything else I want to do is set up. Nice! Good work. That's what you do chapped his legs off and don't get a foul in the process good work the target man releases Francesco Caputo Caputo buys us the corner okay speaking of corners <laughs> I sound like an idiot right now yes we are Sampdoria we're not Liverpool we're not one of those great teams that can defend really well yeah, we're a bunch of idiots. That's what we are. So we got to keep things that bloody simple. Like we know, we got no ambition in life, guys. Absolutely zero bloody ambition when it comes to this. Okay, where's our tree? Yeah, we've put a tree here. Yeah, the tree is coming. We're planting the tree at the far post. We got this guy attacking from there. Yeah, let's just make sure our tree is in the right place. There's no point planting the tree in the wrong place. Hey, Morton Tosby. Coming from the edge of the area as well. Let's go, babies. It's a corner. Who's this taking it? Prayers begin. Where's Zealand when you need it? Because Zealand is damn good at doing the prayers during the stream. We should invite Zealand over for one of our streams and ask him to say a short prayer for Sabdoria. Actually, I'm going to ask him to do that for me. Okay, <laughs> Kandreva. He puts it out. It's Chabo. No. Why did you head? Where's the tree? What happened to our freaking tree? Letiza to Pandev. I say, no, come on. We are excited. We've got the opening goal. No! It's the, what? The Zander. We got the Scottish keeper in goal. Jabo. The craziness that's happening in Sabro is very simple. We signed a Scottish keeper. Andreva is playing in the Serie A. He's the first Scottish keeper to make his way into the Serie A. Hey, God Spurs, the main man. How are you, man? Uh, wait. Sorry for hijacking Luis Diaz away from your Spurs side. <laughs> we are very excited that we both saw potentially the same play. Caputo is Tamska, Tamska shoes. Oh my goodness, that was such a chance. Salvatore Sirigu. Katic reads that play beautifully. De Pauli is over to Kandreva. Kandreva holds out the ball for Amidou. Plays it back to Katic. We are playing very patient 4 4 2, eh? Shabo. Place it to Tosby. Tosby fights Caputo. There's no ambition in us. We don't run aggressively. We are very patient with our 4 4 2. Amadou. To do it. What a crack of a shot, man. Tosby. Toto Witch. Tamskar takes the shot. We get a corner. It's Grandreva now. Puts it to the far post. Chabo again, you bloody useless piece of shit. Getting annoyed. Did I said it wrongly? Attack for our post. Come back here. Oh, is it? Do I have, I have a second one? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, you come here. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Okay. So he's not using this, right? So they're using this. So we swap you. Apparently, the accuracy is not that good. Okay, some Dory are all over Genoa. But it's still early. It's still early, guys. We could easily screw things up. The defender is having problems dealing with our target, man. That's for sure. 
Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Aya. Oh no. Let's check it to Rovella. Eh, good block. Yeah, get on tight. Nice. Okay. Uh oh. Ekuban shoots. What a save from Santa Claus. He reaches across to the. He tips it. Nah. Okay, Xander. We're hoping for great things from the Scottish keeper. The teaser. Oh no. Oh no. This does not look good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, enough of this comprehensive highlights. We we getting scared by the comprehensive. I I don't like comprehensive highlights because I always I always start in the, I always end up like you know shitting bricks, man. Nice, target man does well. We have instructions to tackle hard some of the players. Tosby's on a yellow card. He just don't get pick another one. That's all. Okay, Ahmad Muru crosses. Chabu. He's not offside. There was a defender there. Even I saw that. No, is this allowed? The family is doing well. Thanks for asking, man. Yeah, if you're, you guys were really serious, right? Correct. Right. Does it matter if your white midfielder is left? Oh, no, yeah. You don't want him to be serve chronically one-footed. You want him to be decent with both feet. I mean, this tactic is... There's a lot of movement in my tactic, right? It's two. Because there's a lot of movement. It's a very simple 4-4-2. It's not an over-complicated 4-4-2, right? It's, there's a, we keep the ball with sharp about the 4-4-2. I can actually dial it up to attacking. I can play a really fast game. But my possession numbers will still be quite high. I average about 50 to 60% possession with uh, a few 442s, and this is one of them, uh, or close to it. But what will happen is the reason why the white midfielder is being used is because I got DLP with him and I got the option of unleashing my fullback to go around them if I wanted to. Um, and I can have an attack down both flanks. So, in which case, I want that white midfielder to be good with two feet. If he's chronically one-footed, we are in trouble. Generally, guys in the center of the park, right? Like if like he's going to be playing, he's drifting in a bit, right? So I don't want him to be like, hey, I can only use my right foot. I can't use my left foot, man. One check and that's it. Sirigu, come on. Oi, oi. Rovella, that's onside. No, that's actually a good goal. That's actually a good goal. Our defenders fell asleep. That's our defenders fell asleep. Look at that. The tree. The tree's roots were so, uh, so deep, right? It couldn't move. Got to be very careful. All right. Okay. Okay, now I have to think about the center. His agility balance not that sen not that sensational, but he might be okay there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we've got Dennis to come on from Dumb's God. Get me some pace on the flanks. Keep I, I need to put some pressure. This Maximovic is a good player, man. Come on, let's not lose the plot. Oh no. Get that! Ooh, Xander Clark did enough. Did enough, but he couldn't collect the ball. Damn it. Come on, Xander. Don't screw up, man. Okay, okay. We are not a very good team, but let's just hope that we can survive, okay? Alright. Uh, what can I do? Ooh. I can go deep. I can go narrow that by invite. I'll be inviting a lot of crosses into the box. And they got Goran Pandev. Uh, that's not a good plan. I go, I go narrow, they get crosses. I go deep, they got long shots. Again, they got one or two players there, they got long shots. Let's see. I think Goran Pandev is still there, right? Yeah. Your jump is only nine, so they got no problem there. He's, is he taken off? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. 
oh no they they've got new players here sheesh i forgot to do i have to do i have to check out where these guys are playing uh okay badage who's this badage badage whatever your name is mataya destro my boss likes to run keeper likes to try to break the offside trap i'm gonna put you show you the weak foot oh sorry show you right is it where is he playing he's a striker we on weak foot you all right you yaya kalon ah yaya kalon he's only got acceleration hard tackle him okay okay yeah he's only got acceleration uh what about this guy milan badic milan badic can't turn can't turn but he's very good on the ball right but he can't turn his turning is okay like he's pretty good like 12 and 13 is very good so if i if i close him down we got we got issues he's the one that's he's the one that's stringing all the passes um what do we do we yeah, right okay we press him okay we don't give him time to play those presses to play those passes all right Okay, Nikola Maximovic. Uh, he's he's not bad. He's a problem. Uh, okay, Paolo Gigion. Uh, right. I will just keep him on the flanks. His crossing is very good. Oh no. Um, his agility and balance is not so good. Okay, what I'm going to do is show him inside. Uh, what is uh, Paolo Pablo Pablo? What are you? You are playing. Pablo Guion is playing as a right winger. So I want to show you inside. That means I'll show you onto the left foot. Okay. Niclo Rovella is uh, here. He's been hard tackle. This guy's been hard tackle. This guy's hard tackle. Srigu is letting him in the box. Destro, 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 Destro. Do you, do you have jumping reach? There's Destro. And each one of these guys. I wish they would just show all the, the guys in the... Uh, positions actually i can do that why am i an idiot just do it like this jumping reach 13. okay we type on you let's go all right now we also want to time this drop this drop this drop this Okay, make one more substitution. Ferrari for the Pauli. Last up. We brought it home, guys. We brought the game home. We have beaten Genoa. The Derby. The results of the derby look at this man we performed quite well we kept the ball Our possession numbers were very very solid we got a bit of a scare when uh, this goal happened over the top because the tree fell asleep the tree's roots too deep man i mean i would do that in the last few minutes of the game with uh our, our own tree our own target man right 14 jumping reach but it was a quite a good performance from the boys. I mean, I never expected him to be scoring goals like this, man. Well, he gets in, and then, bang. Nice goal. Considering, right, if you look at his attributes, if you look at his attributes, and this guy's attributes aren't... I mean, let's go and look at his attributes, okay? Look at his attributes. What does he have? Okay, I like his balance. His agility. Okay, agility, balance, can twist and turn. He's got a left foot, so apparently playing him on that side of the pitch was quite good he came in on his left foot to shoot he's only got one foot Caputo only has he has a right and a left foot so I think we'll stick stick to this for a while but he used his right foot <laughs> SI please fix this all right I'm expecting SI to make a few tweaks I'm expecting them to make a few tweaks when the winter update hits a big tweak I want them to make is the um the Set natural fitness of players. I think it should be tweaked slightly. Okay. 
Sampdoria won. But our next game, guys, is going to be a tough one, man. We are playing the mighty Milan. Let's just be realistic, okay? We got off to a good start. Now we play Milan. Manchester City, Napoli and Benfica while you're a small Romanian team. Oh my goodness, good luck, man. Good luck, good luck. So we have a we have a 4-4-2 that's built for possession. I basically want to win games by keeping the ball away from the opposition. When we get when we get the ball, that is. Dumb Scott wants to ask Igdal, go ahead and talk. Igdal wants to leave. You think that's gonna work, Daljit? It's not of course it's not gonna work. Okay. Let's let's leave uh decline. I'm not gonna to talk to Dumb Scott yet. Still too early in the season to talk about contracts, man. Show them, show me on the pitch first. I will ignore players and their requests. Yeah. Personal message following takeover. We should take it. Huh? There was a takeover and we were able to sign players. What the hell is going on there? We didn't place an embargo on us. Look at this, man. We got AC Milan, Sally Tana in between us and Juventus. The drama, the drama begins. Okay, so what do we, how do we play? Same thing. No change. Okay. No change to the way we are playing with the same players that we have. We use the same players again. Uh, we got Brzezinski back. So that's good news. You can come off. Put him here. All right. Same Sarah. Opposition instructions. Oh my God. Who the hell do we mark in this team, boy? This team is just too good. Okay. This team is way too good. Uh, that, uh, what are you going to do? You, you, you're going to have problems, man. You, I'm going to pick one player who's... I mean, he, he might be slow, but no, there's nothing else. There's nothing wrong. Look at this. This this, 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 this is too good, man. I mean, maybe Theo and Andes, right? Trigger a press on him. Yeah, that's about it, man. Sandro Tonali can't do jack to him. I am... If I am a, if we are tight on Sandro Tonali, he's gonna to turn on turn whoever is tight marking him and just find the pass. So we're not gonna do anything to him. Frank Cassie as well. This just This is a who's who man. Okay. He we can do something, right? So we'll show him onto his uh Daniel Mandini is playing in the center. We're gonna tackle hard. Okay. And trigger a press. I doubt he's uh, you forget it. It's not gonna work. He's too good. He's too fast. He's a legend in his own time. Okay. All right, guys. What do we say to our players? Nah, this is this is this is gonna be the impossible game, man. Um, sub submit the team. Same players. I'm not gonna change the tactic. I'm gonna have to play. I want to play a few matches. I'm not cha keep changing tactics. Just you know, because I'm playing this team, I have to play it differently. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep quiet. Let the Aspen take the fall for this one. I was hoping to tell the players, "Hey guys, I'm not expecting a result. Go out, go out and have fun." Of course, I would have to. Would have had to change my body language to see that happen, but it's too. Let's see. Let's let's go, boys. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna encourage the boys. This game, I'm not gonna berate them once. Yep, as expected. It's a penalty. It's a penalty inside the box. Okay. Yep. Unfortunately for us. Penalty has been awarded. We have to defend. Once again, we are playing only a 4-4-2. We are not changing tactics even though it's actually better to play like a 4-3-3 DM against them. Well, our goal on this countdown challenge is only play a 4-4-2. That's all. We can't change tactics. 
You've got to encourage the boys. The hits have dropped. Come on. We don't want them the hits to drop. Kandreva with the corner. Kartic, the three comes close, but no cigar. Okay. Osby is on a yellow card. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's only one nil. Where is hope, man, for the, these boys? The Maldini, they got tight. No chance. Uh, this team is too good with the ball. Shower as well. Okay, good. That's what we're doing, man. 90 minutes. <laughs> 90 minutes of pressure. Calabria. Tonali looks for options. Goes wide. Calabria again. Crosses the ball. And Ibrahimovic. Could be offside. No? Could be offside. Yeah, it could be offside. No, I believe. But the thing is, it's not the tactic you should believe in. See, all tactics need players. Right? And I'm playing against a team that's at the average attribute of that team I'm playing against is three, two to three higher than my team. So they're going to beat me for numbers across the pitch. Look at that. So eventually we're going to have problems. My God. Important to recognize when you can beat a team and when you can't. Especially if you're telling yourself you only want to play one tactic. So like, we are playing only with one tactic. Not, we didn't do too badly, right? Look at that, okay? They had to work hard to beat us. Um, We had our chances, but we were not good enough. Or oh, Giroud, this is, this is silly. That's just dumb, dumb goal to give away. We'll get better, no worries. We'll get there. I am seeing some semblance of what the hell? I can't shut these people off. We got we got these spammers on the chat, man. Just giving links. Okay, once again guys uh in about half in about half an hour i'll be taking a short break then we'll be returning to twitch where we will be doing draft mode so if you want to take part in draft right today we are doing uh serie a two leagues serie a in england Premier League, unlimited budget right so depending on how many people are taking part yeah I always have to remind myself because I'm naturally the kind of person that likes to play with different tactics, different tactical systems. That's the kind of person I am, right? I will always adapt to another to another system and I'll, I'll tweak my tactic accordingly, which a lot of good managers do. They usually have like three tactics, two or three tactics at most. The best managers have usually got three tactics that they switch between. But I don't want to because a lot of people want to... Right? Then you, you get into this thing that you never get better at one formation. So I like to play one formation for as long as possible and get better at it. Yeah, that's, that's me. Marisa said to sign for Sampdoria. Yeah. But we'll get better. We do, we have to recognize we don't have the best players. So, you know. There are things I can do with the 4 4 2, but it's going to change the tactic a lot. So let's see. Let's let them play a couple of matches. Let's have no knee jerk reactions. Right. If Salitana, I lose to them, yeah, then it's time to evaluate our plan, your tactic, that kind of shit. Okay. They're playing a deep tactic as well. So you gotta be very careful about their counters. Alright. Okay, we got Brzezinski, he's fit. Okay, we're gonna have to rotate him and another player. Uh the Pauli, okay, because he's just coming back from a long injury. Uh we're gonna bring Vieira in. Alright, okay. Now opposition, they are playing this. Positions. 
uh, tight. No, we're not gonna tight mark them anymore. I think that was something I was doing earlier. Okay, with this player. Alright, you gotta do this, then the damn thing will come up. Okay. Alright, what do we wanna do? Okay, let's look at our players. Look Bogdan. No, oh, definitely. We gotta press on him. Show him onto his weaker foot. Okay. Pavel Jorinsky, not so much. Ricardo Gagliogo. Oh, don't ever press this guy. Never press him. This guy is gonna be dangerous on the ball. No, sorry, wrong player. Wrong player, wrong player, wrong player. This guy. Okay. Pavel Jorinsky, bravery. Tackle hard. Tackle this guy hard. Okay. Kejidira, okay, tackle him up as well. And trigger the press on him when he gets the ball. Alright, Rugeri. Doesn't read the ball, doesn't read the game. I mean, it's the anticipation is 11. It's slightly lower than 13. But I'm, I'm trying to remember my own players and trying to think of the number that they're. He, what I normally do at this point, right, is okay. What is my, what are my players' averages? Like twelve and thirteen on the flanks, is it like that? Uh, so what can I do with him? No, then I try to mix mix and match because he's gonna pass my right back, right? He's on the left, right? So he's gonna pass my right winger and my right back. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, is he faster than my wingers? Does he is he better at turning? You know, kind of thing. So this guy, we're gonna show him. Uh, we're gonna keep him to the. We're gonna keep him down the flanks, right? So let's see what it, what kind of strikers they have. Ribery can't j uh, jump to save his life. This guy is very good, so I actually I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna show them inside. Okay. Uh, show show this guy to the left. Show this guy to the right. We don't want to deal with crosses. Yeah, because they've got a very good play in the box. See me who can who can who can do the, yeah score. Okay, this guy has got low composure, so we're gonna trigger the press on him. Tackle hard. Uh, Jewel OB. Do you see this? Composure and concentration. Okay. Tight mark game as well. Don't give him any time on the ball. It's agility and balance. Sorry. Between these two guys. Between these guys, Mambudu Kulabali is MCR. Castanos is the one in the center. Um... 11, 11, 10. Joel Obi. 11, 11. Okay. Tackling. Good press. Want to be careful. Press. You know, the trigger press a lot of players. As well the center you could pull your you could pull your entire system out of shit so we're gonna pull when he gets the ball we're gonna put pressure on him right um it isolates these two they have to go down the flanks obi composure breeze bravery composure concentration he might uh we're not gonna do it to him but hopefully it works man <laughs> it's a lot of guesswork going on i i, I mean it's like you know how i think um because if you if you trigger the press on a like everybody what's what sometimes happens is everybody's doing it right so they, they're all getting close to somebody it, op it opens it opens up too much space i don't know why that why do i think david moyes failed at manchester united he was not he was not a big uh big club manager that's why couldn't handle big personalities that club Moyes does well at clubs where they don't have those kind of personalities. United was full, full of big personalities and then they had all their ex-players coming back to have their two cents. Can you imagine having to deal with Roy Keane every day? I mean, every time you play, your players play the game, they have to handle Roy, Roy Keane, right? So that's, that's like, you know, then Roy Keane is talking about your players and then, you know, it's, it's annoying. So, yeah, I don't, 
I don't blame. Um, I, I I think it's always it was always going to be difficult. Like when David Moyes went to United, I was celebrating. Right? I was like, say these are good times for Liverpool. They they got possibly the worst manager they could get because he's not a big big player manager. And then when I took Louis Van Gaal, I was celebrating as well because Louis Van Gaal is not known for his you know he's he's like one kind of like patient chess game kind of play a manager. So yeah. All right. Okay, let's encourage our boys. So far, so good. I'm I'm wary of their counter attack. Okay, now we're gonna drop this. Go like this. Patiently try and probe. Draw a tempo. My team isn't that fantastic. Right? We don't have a lot of like super fit players. We don't have a lot of depth. So I don't want to lose too many games. It's like safe 4-4-2s. Four, four I'm trying safe and simple 4-4-2s. Four, four caputo, Caputo, Caputo. I go too high. They got those two at the... They got that Ribery and... Oh, Bonazoli now. Wait, wait, wait. Did they bring Bonazoli on? Yeah, they just took off uh, Simi. Simi has just... Simi had no service, man. <laughs> It worked. Okay, I got Bonazoli. Bonazoli not so bad. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna take a chance. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. We actually good game pressing. <laughs> Bit of four four two something I tell myself you don't do. Andreva, we're pushing for the goal. Ooh, crossbar. Get there, get there. Ah, oh, this is gonna be dangerous. Nice. Cosby out to Damsgaard. Finds Muru. Contra it's a goal. Okay. All right, guys. Got a goal. Now we go back. <laughs> Defend. Okay. We play a slightly higher line. Back to this. Uh, all right. We got the goal we wanted. We pushed for it. Because we're at home, right? So okay, let's let's do it. <laughs> we have to get a win, man. I'm trying to get understand this team. Nice. The fullback comes in, scores. Change. It will chase. Yes, there. Good work. Target man. Don't lose the ball. Torsby. Okay. Sorry, they made another substitution. Okay, let's arrange this again. They brought him on. Right wing back. Ah, okay, good. Trigger press on him. Okay. I trigger press on him. Okay. Why do I trigger press on this guy? He's agility and balance also, but look at his composure. He's 10. So every time he gets the ball, I want to put him under pressure. Yeah. But I want to pick and choose the players. I don't want to do it to everyone. Composure 11, 12, but his acceleration is high. I can, but it's a bit risky. Okay, then I've got... So far, Castanos 6.4. Not having a good game, right? We keep we've been putting him under a lot of pressure. Yeah, then Bonazoli. What's his threat? Jumping reach, concentration. Oh, I'm not too worried about him. Our defender should be able to handle bonus only. Okay, go settle back to our routine. Oh, what a rocket! Come on, Sampdoria. Encourage the boys. 
Okay, win the header, win the header, win the header. Thank you very much. Okay, Caputo with the ball. Goes wide. Looks for options. Candreva, Candreva. What kind of stupid pass is that? Hey, read that, read that, read that. Like a back cover of a sex book, man. Okay, Vieira. Simple. Tosby out to Caputo to Damsga. Damsga looks for options. So oh, the target man gets in. Hits the post. Okay, now what are we going to do? We're going to be different now. Bloody more of a standard defensive line. Dropping it a bit more. Uh, keep it tight in the middle. Let them cross the ball. We're going to regroup now. Okay. Time is... Yep. There's a lot of things I just did, right? So basically, I don't want to press too much. No. Offside. We're going to claim it's offside. They're not mighty, man. Salitana is like in the relegation zone, right? I don't... Is They're not mighty, man. We are, I'm just trying to get to, to terms with my own 4 4 2. Double Tosby. So I understand the things I can do with this team, right? Instead of like trying too many things, are good. Castanos, they got tight on him, but. Yeah. Uh oh. Bonazoli, nice. Xander Clark saves the day. Out to Dodovic. Okay, Dodovic looks for Caputo. Caputo, can you get inside? No, we get a throw. Share, share with the... Okay, Katic the three, all right. Now... Okay, I'm gonna bring on this guy for Dumb's guy. Davo is okay. I'm actually worried that my defensive line is too deep. I'm actually drawing that. Oh, sheesh. They're playing narrow. I just realized that. Oh, they change tactics, man, for the winner. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what do we need to do? Click a press on the right back. Yeah, we're going to keep him there. Show on two foot. Show on two. Okay, hold on. You keep going down the right flank. Okay, so we're going to show you onto your right foot. So you always go down the flank. You do, I don't want you to pass inside. You show you onto your left foot. So you don't have. I want to remove the passing options in the center of the pump. Okay. Look, work done. Trigger the press. If I trigger the press on him. He's just going to release the thing back, so no more. Okay. They push Castanos up top. Ribery, Ribery. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let's handle this. Finish the game, boys. Thank you. Oh. We done it. Two wins and two one nils in a row, man. You know how good that feels. Sorry. Did I lose to me? Yeah, I lost to Milan. We were Saletana. We beat, sorry, we beat Genoa 2 1. We beat Saletana 1 0. Okay, good, good result. We managed to get the win that we needed. Okay. Inter beat Juventus. Hmm. Attacking very fluid. Oh, they play a 4-4. They play a 4-4-2 against us. Guys, it's the battle of the 4 4 twos. Who's the best? Which is the best two-man strike partnership in football? They don't. Two-man strike by either. In history or now? Like, I don't know, man. I think the best two-man partnership was the one that Blackburn had, right? That was in historically, I think that was the best. Shearer and SAS. What they call it SAS. Was it Shearer and what's his name? What's the other? Who was the other guy? Who was the other striker that was beside? Blackburn's two strikers. That was the best partnership I've ever uh, I've seen in a long time. I haven't seen a partnership like that in a two-man strike force. Okay. 
All right, we've done okay. We got the same usual suspects. Uh, we got Gabi, we got Falcone. Did we rest anybody? Oh yeah, we rested Brzezinski. Okay, good. He can come back in now. Uh, Damsgaard will have to play. This is a all hands on deck game, boy. We are playing the we are playing one of the best teams in the land. Okay, except now you see this underlap, underlap. This is very aggressive. All right, this guy's gonna go through the middle. Yeah, let's go. For, let's go for it, man. Let's try this out. We lose to UV, we lose to Chris Sutton. How do you know when to use a poacher? How do you know? I mean, if you want somebody staying in the box, attracting the attention of the defenders, and you don't want him to be moving too far away, then yeah. I always like using poachers if I want to have somebody attacking the center coming in. Like the poacher will have a have a problem because the defenders will have a problem because they got a poacher and they right beside them so they have to defend against them. How do you know when? Well, you have to try it. To find out yourself, man. Over time. You just finished 11. After season 1, it sounded pretty tough going using a 4-4-2. 4-2-2-2, game pressing. Wow. Yeah, I'm not game pressing. I'm just trying my best not to get relegated. Okay, that's all. <laughs> that's just... Dalglish and Rush, oh, they, they weren't bad. Either. Dalglish and Rush were a damn good combination. Yeah. Then, Emil Heskey and Michael Owen were a good partnership as well. Tall and short. That was a very good partnership. That's like the target man poacher combination. Or in that case, target man advanced or target man poacher? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Wait, guys, we, we talked so much, we didn't even bother doing the homework. No. What kind of what kind of home? I should take this game. No, we might have a chance, right? Okay. Danny Lo, let's pick and choose our players. Okay, no, we don't use Bonucci, no, we don't want to use too good. Too good. I mean, we should be saying this whole team is too good. Ah, composure. You. Okay. Trigger. Press on him. Um. I see Leo. He can turn and twist and turn. But this is the one player that might make mistakes. Okay. Juan Caradrado. Just too good. Uh, but his concentration and his, his uh, concentration level is not very good. So trigger press on him as well. We might get skin. Huh? This is a dangerous... This is very, very dangerous. I could get skin. Yeah. Uh, Locatelli and Western McKinney, no. <laughs> Don't touch them. Chiesa, oh my god. What am I going to do with you? Chiesa, right. And cuts inside. Oh, runs. He will hug the line. Where's he playing? He's playing on the left. Right foot. Show him to the... Show him to the left foot. Okay, keep him on the, you know, keep him on that side of the pitch. Follow Dybala. He might be going to Liverpool, man. He might be coming to Liverpool. Why is he keen? Okay, that's it. Let's hope for the best. Pray for... <laughs> Let's just hope, okay? Let's not. We're playing a 4-4-2. And Quadrado comes in, gets a second chance to score the goal to send the clock's legs. Henry and Burkham, uh, Henry and Burkham were good. But one could argue they were not a two-man strike force. See, we're looking at two-man strike forces in a 4-4-2. Burkham was part of a winger. I mean, like, back in the day, Arsene Wenger was the first manager to actually play like the 4-3-3 with uh, Burkham uh, with uh, Thierry Henry as an inside forward. So I would not say that's a two-man strike partnership. Yeah. Dwight York is a good style of shit. York and Cole were damn good, yeah. They were damn good, man. York and Cole were one of the best. United uh, two-man strike partnerships of all time. I don't think there was any strike partnership from United that was better than the York Cole, com York Cole combination. Yeah. Romare and Stoichkov, I, I, I wouldn't know, man. I didn't see them play. I didn't know they played a 4-4-2. Wait, Romario and Stoichkov, this would, that would be Barcelona, right? Oh my god, look at the keeper just gave the ball back. Okay, what we are going to do is this, right? Okay, we got no choice right now, okay? We are literally living on a prayer. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to distribute to position this guy. That's it. All right, we're going to regroup as well. Every time we lose the ball, and we're going to try and do a counter. 
we're not going to try all this short short passing around these guys it's not working all right so we're going to do this let's slow down our tempo somewhat we're going to try and stay a bit tighter in possession it might help us win the ball back oh actually not we're not game pressing we're gonna have a high defensive line we're taking some chances with our football quadrado coming inside that's it man <laughs> missing I think every time we skin Quadrado, we get we're paying the price. So we're gonna take off that. I was very worried about the OI and Quadrado. Instead, what we're gonna do is gonna tackle him on. And show him onto his right foot. Don't let him turn inside. One bastard and hulit. Oh yep. Rooney and Berber touch. Berber. Nah, I don't know. Not so I'm not wasn't that impressed with them. Yeah. Kane and Son. Kane, uh. Kane and Son. Again, it's not a two-man. It has to be a 4-4-2. It can't be a 4-3-3. Kane and Son, no way 4-4-2, right? They all played a 4-3-3. 4-2-3-1. Yeah, it has to be a 4-4-2. The 4-4-2 partnership's not many, you know, in the modern game. Luis Diaz is a phenomenal signing. If we if we, it, it gets confirmed, because I don't think it has been confirmed yet. We basically want to hijack. Uh, we consider the second goal. We bas they basically want to hijack the... Um, what is it? They basically want to hijack... Um, Tottenham Hotspurs. Tottenham Hotspurs uh, transfer, right? Okay, Juventus. Lukaku and Lautaro? Nah, man. Oh, yeah, Lukaku and Lautaro with Inter Milan, correct? They were a two-man partnership. They were playing a 5 3 2. But, but, I mean, we don't see that many two-man partnerships with prolific goal scoring anymore. But those days of defending different, uh, uh, those days tactics are different as well. We don't see that anymore. Caputo. He's gonna drive up. Dumb's guard. We pull one back. I think he's offside. He could be offside. But I thought he started his run a bit early. Yeah. Damn it. The movement is correct. The idea is correct. The execution not so good. So this is how gonna be okay. Yeah, now we kind of got our dot PvP, son. PvE. Let's okay, let's go. Ahead. We'll put it inside here okay uh counter attacking Sam. all right i mean ideally i should also be removed under laps but i want to give myself some options but i think this could work thumbs guard is running on empty okay never mind we got Church Chef. We'll try some of the other players out. Uh, De Paolo, De Pauli as well. We, we might not. Let's not lose by too much. Suarez and Sturridge. No, that's not a two man partnership. That's a three man partnership. You forgot the other one. Suarez, Sterling, and Sturridge. So I don't think uh, we can include. What's his name in there? Because that was three, right? Liverpool play a 4 3 3. We didn't play a 4 4 2. They're all over me right now because I decided to sit back. I want to see how a deep 4 4 2 does. A deeper version of the 4 4 2. Hmm. A lot of defending to do, man, this setup. Yeah, this, this can definitely be used next time. Yeah. This is a low block. 442. Torres and Villa for Spain. Raul Ebisen. Volo and Klinsman. My goodness, you talk about rolling back the years, man. Talk about rolling back the years. You're dying well, man. You're doing well. Like I said, we're only playing a 442. We're not changing targets. We're not changing formations and nothing else. So if you guys want to see certain players play better because you're they are 
they are your happy, happy players. No, the rule is we are playing with A442. Okay? We have to accept the fact that we're playing with a 442. All right. Okay, we're going to swap these guys. Okay, because in a counter attacking setup, this is actually much more effective. Um, This one will be target forward on support, and this is complete forward. Okay, this is going to be much better in a, for this setup. Because then I have the, um, I have this guy dropping. All right, so let's continue. We got our two tactics set up. Let's go back to our original, which is uh, target forward and support and complete forward on support. Okay, and swap them back. Okay. So, the situation is this, guys. We've had a bit of a rocky start. We've had a draw, two wins and two defeats. But Milan and Juventus, what can we say, right? Those were always going to be difficult games for us. We are stuck where the pundits expected us to be, which is mid-table. Right? We haven't progressed very far. Neither have we. We haven't really dropped off the, you know, the charts either. And uh, let's just uh, make sure that our calendar is sorted. By October, we should be trained in our tactical system. Okay, done. We're looking okay. Yep. And... Yeah. So, I would say that we're okay. Right, we're okay. Our top scorer doesn't happen to be one of our strikers. We've had a few goals from a few players, right? So, the problem with our team is this. Number 12 is the average that we have. If I, look, if I was looking at attributes, right? If I'm looking at attributes from my Sampdoria team, the average is 12. Now, 12 isn't even average. It's not. If you were to look at the number you need to be, I mean, like, I would say good, right? You're going to punch above your weight. You're looking at 13. Okay, most of the other teams are like 14 and 15. The top teams are like 13 and, uh, about 14 and 15. But well, you need 12 as an attribute. That's their base. That's, that's the baseline for the most important uh, key attributes for any role in the game. Right. So if you're looking at things like uh, you want to play a defender as a, you want to play a good defender, he needs concentration of 13, not 12, 13. <laughs> yeah, man. Lawage is destroying my league for sure, man. I will play the 4 4 2 all the way. That's it. We are not changing tactics. We're not going to go midstream. We're playing the 4 4 2. We have to fine tune it along the way and make it better because that's how everyone should be playing the game, right? I mean, no one starts out with a perfect tactic. You will find the players for your perfect tactic eventually. And then it is a perfect tactic. And, you know, some people might try it two or three times to the same team or some people might holiday mode. You know, you, you want to be that kind of a person, by all means, go. But I, I think... This appeals more to people who want to learn as they go. And I want to do it in such a way that it's like a learn as you go. You have a plan for a 442 and we learn as we go, right? We try and improve the system and the players. So I thank everybody for coming on for today's uh, stream. And I want to remind everybody that we are streaming on Twitch in half an hour or close to it. I'm going to give or take 10 minutes after that. I need to go and give my son medicine. So I want to thank everybody for popping in. Twitch coming up, draft mode. Serie A and Premier League, unlimited budget. Are you in or are you out? I hope you're in. I'll see you there very soon. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for your support. Thanks for all your love. Stay safe. Take care of each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.